Welcome to Overgo World, making your life better through tech, vacations and other great things. Remember to subscribe so that you don't miss out on our latest videos. Today we're looking at the brand new iPhone that's been released. This is the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Uh, this I have bought in the white titanium version. So uh, it is the white color and it is the one terabyte version. So let's have a look at unboxing this and what we get in the package. So this is what you get in the box. It is a USB-C to C charging cable. You can see the ports there. Uh, you get the SIM card remover, you get the manual, a very short manual there, and then you get the iPhone itself. So very minimalistic approach. Uh, as Apple is going eco-friendly. What it obviously means is you need to get a USB-C plug so you can charge this product up. So I'm going to go charge this up and then I'll let you know what I think of it. Okay, we're back with the iPhone, which I've charged up and I've used it for just over a week to see what it's like. Um, and what I'll say is it's quite similar in terms of use to my previous iPhone 15 Pro Max. There isn't something where I thought, wow, this is significantly different. So if you're thinking of upgrading, I'll get to that in a moment, whether I think it's worth upgrading or not. Uh, as I mentioned before, this is the white finish, which is called white titanium. It comes in four different colors, gold, silver, uh, white, and black. Gold is called desert titanium. White is white titanium, black is black titanium, and the silver is natural titanium. Having had a look at all of these in the Apple Store, I'd say that the white titanium is probably the most elegant. I think whether you're male or female, it is a great colour to go with, and it's my personal favourite out of those four. Um, in terms of the configuration of the phone, those of you who are upgrading or thinking of upgrading from the iPhone 15 Pro Max will notice that the camera configuration is the same as on the previous iPhone. Uh, the buttons on the side, at least on this side, are very similar. So you've got the action button, you've got the volume controls, you've got the SIM slot there. Uh, and the dimensions of this um, on the depth side are actually exactly the same as the predecessor, about eight millimeters. On the bottom of this, you have the USB-C charging port. And on the other side, you have the top button, like on the predecessor, but you've got a new camera control button, which is something unique to this new product. And we'll get into that in a moment. So, I'm just turning this around and having a look at it. As I say, the depth is the same. Uh, the screen is now 6.9 inches as opposed to 6.7 inches. You don't really notice that. And the reason why you don't notice it is it's only three millimeters bigger than its predecessor. And the width is only about a millimeter bigger as well. So if someone had handed this to me and I ha I've been using the iPhone uh, 15 Pro Max, I'd say having used it over the past week, I wouldn't have noticed a difference except for the button on the side, which is what I'll get to. So that's this camera button. Now, when you press that, what it does is it takes you immediately into the camera mode. So what the good thing about this is that if you now want to zoom in or zoom out, you can simply drag your finger across the top switch and it acts like a zoom feature. So you don't have to put uh, anything on the... Um, uh, you don't have to be touching the screen to do this. You can simply use that to zoom in and zoom out. And if you want to take a photo, you can just press that and it will take the photo. So that's the new feature on the camera in terms of uh, being able to take photos more quickly, zoom in and out using that button. So in terms of the question of whether I would actually upgrade to this phone if I had a predecessor model. I've had the predecessor models. I've had the 15 Pro Max. I've had the 14 Pro Max, the 13 Pro Max, etc. So I'm kind of looking at all of those different products. From the 15 Pro Max, would I upgrade to this? I would say my day-to-day -day use has been exactly the same. I wouldn't have noticed the difference between using this and the other iPhone if someone had given me, you know, this and swapped it in 
uh, over the previous one except for that feature with the uh, button on the side so if i was going to go on holiday i would say yes i would upgrade because this has replaced my digital camera a number of generations ago so iphone is what i use for filming what i use for taking photos of the family when when i'm on holiday and having that slide switch on the side to zoom in and zoom out and to use that clicker to take photos is just so much more useful so much more natural like a camera and for me personally uh, and with the longer battery life because the battery life now on video playback is about four hours more so it's 33 hours compared to the previous battery life of 29 hours on the iphone 15 pro max i would upgrade it solely if i was going to be taking a lot of photos uh, which i do when i go on holiday um, then for me personally yes i would for those of you who don't mind zooming in and pinching and zooming in and zooming out then i would say this isn't an essential upgrade you may want to wait until the iphone 17. you may be thinking what about apple intelligence though so for apple intelligence that's not going to be released in the uk until about december of this year what it's got is it's got some new ai built in for things like chat gpt is meant to be integrated the iphone 15 pro max actually has that uh, compatibility already so if you've got an iphone 15 pro you've got an iphone 15 pro max you will be able to use apple intelligence so you don't need to upgrade just for that feature so if you have got an iphone 15 pro or an iphone 15 pro max and you're thinking of upgrading only have a look at whether you feel that feature with the camera uh, camera button on the side to take photos and using it to zoom in zoom out so it's a bit more natural like a camera is useful for you if it is then i would say upgrade if it isn't essential you may want to wait for another iteration if you are on one of the older products so looking at 14 and before then if you want to use um, apple's new apple intelligence you will need to upgrade and then obviously you get the longer battery life and you get or you know you get the new camera features as well so I hope that's helpful um, and that's my quick review of unboxing this and seeing how it compares to its predecessor, the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed watching this, so please feel free to hit the like button and remember to subscribe for great upcoming videos. Thank you and see you next time.